And hello everyone, Owen Azuris here, and today we are looking at another game that Facebook recommended to me. I actually screenshotted the recommendation here, and it is called The King of Ocean. Start the voyage with your warships and fight for the honor of your fleet. And apparently on App Store, people are setting it on fire, saying, why is this game so much fun? There's two smiley faces, looks like they're laughing. And according to the person talking, this is a mobile version of Uncharted Waters, which was a really great game. I know it was released, I believe, on a Nintendo or Super Nintendo. Actually, it's Super Nintendo, but I played the PC version. And it's a really fun game. It's by Koei. And you can control one of six characters, go exploring around the world, uh, have naval battles. I played as a um, Portuguese explorer who had to go and... I mean, there are all sorts of subplots. I mean, they all kind of converged on the same thing. I think you had to go find Atlantis, and there's some bad guy trying to revive Atlantis. But all in all, it was a great game. Uh, it's not as memorable to me as something like Sid Meier's Pirates, but still, as far as uh, exploration games and naval games go, it's pretty good. So that's what this game is claiming to be, and I'm willing to predict it is going to be nothing like that. So let us go over here and go to the King of Ocean. And let's see, there are Chinese ships in the game. I've already set up an account, but I have not created a character yet. So let us go ahead and go to page or server 42, start up a new game. And let's see, click on the different fleets here, randomize my name. I'm going to, oh, Devin Law, Alice Rowe. Uh, there's no explanation of what these mean, NE fleet and WE fleet. Um... Northeast and no, because West and East wouldn't be the same thing. New, uh, maybe let's see. The NE looks more like it's in Europe or the Western part of Europe. I'm not, I'm not really sure what this means. Let's go ahead and hit start. Your roles names contain words. Not a, oh, this is a name you suggested. Okay, we'll do Alice Rue. Okay, once again, it... Okay, I'll just be Alice. What is... Oh, it has lice in it. Alice... Alicia, R-O-U. Let's try that. Okay, so that actually worked. Uh, let's see. Service agreement. I'm going to assume... Captain, it's the coastline. We can see land. Home is in sight. Set sail, full rudder, and head towards London. Cool. Let's go to London. Okay, clicking on the map here. Finally accepts it. Oh, there is music. I'll turn it up a little here. Go ahead and hit sail two. So we've arrived in London. Click here to submit. I'm going to probably make a new listing for... Um, games that I find on Facebook, because last one, the Pokemon game, even though some people have written to defend it, um, it's not that great a game, and I put it under bad games. But some of these games aren't necessarily bad. Maybe this will be a good thing, and I'm going into this completely blind. You know, I expected probably an empire-building game, and so far it's not what I've gotten. I'm trading here. And it looks like other people are playing. Um, English could use a little a bit of work, but I mean, my English isn't perfect either. Rules on the sea, which are different than land. Okay, then why did we stop if we were going to... Okay, so Western Europe and Northern Europe. Okay, that makes sort of sense. Two different forces of local products of one side can only be sold to the other side. Price difference of the goods on both sides is profit, which is the source of our primitive accumulation. I'm going to sell the copper that we got from London. Go ahead and sell. Now, there is actually a Uncharted Waters or a game that is like a multiplayer game. It's on the PC. 
that I played a little bit of, but it's a little slow for me. When I was younger, I probably would have been able to spend more time on it than tap y'all. The material the governor's just given us. Looks like I'm going to build myself a ship. I don't know if I really built that ship myself, since I was given all the stuff. So we now have two ships. Capacity has doubled, so hurry up and purchase goods. Okay, let's hit exchange here. We need to buy two ships of goods. Exchange. Click on, can I buy anything? No, I gotta buy grapes. Okay. Now close the exchange. Leave and... Listen slowly. So how do I distinguish between goods that are good and goods that are not so good? So, looks like it is pretty much every single loot-based game I play as far as quality of goods. You got your Legendary, Epic, Rare, which I like. I don't like having to think up and remember new things, so if you're going to do quality colors, those colors work really well. Exchange, got it. Sell those two grapes. Don't forget our rewards. Captain wants to take some time off. You can teleport. Okay, so why do I want to buy this copper ore when it's white? I don't know. Click on the map, select Bordeaux. And I can apparently teleport, which kind of makes me wonder why. Oh well. Go to exchange, sell all this stuff. Can I buy? No. Flower is now green. That means it's better. Let's unlock it. Go and buy. He's ordering me to do something. I think you're delusional. He's helping you out. Unless he's trying to take over my ship, and then we'll have to we'll have to do something. Ooh, enemies! Let's see what combat is like. Let's, well, like combat seems to be automatic. see how they monetize the game. So I can recruit. Close recruit panel. Auto equip. So this actually is kind of, well, I mean, Uncharted Waters, Lost Horizons, whatever the game was called, one I was talking about earlier. It did have a system where you did go and recruit captains and assign them to ships, but the combat was strategic. Think tactical games like... I know it was a grid-based system from what I recall, so it was very much... It wasn't just like how much power you had. You also had options like you could go and challenge the enemy captain to a duel, and if you won, that would like take out or win you the whole battle. I used to do that. Now, the duels were kind of just rock, paper, scissors, literally. I mean, they called it something else, but it was literally rock, paper, scissors. 
but you could get items that went and improved your chances. Okay, let's see what this instance is. I can barely see what it says. See, one thing I don't like about this is he's talking over some of the stuff. Like, I want to read what some of the stuff is saying, but I can't because he's talking. And so I'm learning, okay, this is an instance. I guess once or twice a day I can play this. I guess I play until I die. Fighting the drunk pirates here, it's kind of stereotypical. Hey, someone accepted my friend request in Pokemon Go. FYI, Pokemon Go is better than that Legend Beast or Best Online that I looked at last week. You know, with this little power, I'm doing pretty well. I'm guessing these enemies have so much power because it's so many of them, so each individual ship isn't that much of a challenge. Can I... Become VIP 1 or reach trade level 45 to hit forward. So, I'm trying to go a little faster. Pick up all. Sweet. One instance is completed. This time, let's make an exception. Build another ship. Recruit a captain. Who do I want? Uh, it's auto refresh. Uh, I was going to say, let's see if I can get someone else. Uh, captain review. I guess you'll do. I have all my captains look like my actual captain. Next, newly recruited captain will be appointed to a third ship. Got it. Go down here, auto equip, close the panel. We can get blue goods now. Let's go back to Bordeaux. And a lot of these games, you do start off, even in like Pirates and Lost Horizons, Uncharted Waters, you do start off going back and forth between certain cities. Like, I have a few cities in Pirate's Gold that I always start off that are, like, right next to each other. I think St. Kitts and whatever is to the south or north of it. And then usually I can manipulate their economies a little, do my thing. Let's go ahead and unlock a yogurt. And then buy it. I want to buy. Shipbuilding can be done with mass production as long as materials and funds are sufficient. Okay, thank you. Build ships. I have five ships now. Click the back button. Let's go shopping. Don't I need captains? Fleet? No. Go oh, recruit. Let's recruit you. No, I want all my captains to look the same. Auto equip. There we go. Exchange. Go ahead and buy some yogurt. <clears throat> all my cargo holds are full. <clears throat> so is there some limit on the ships I can build? Let me look at fleet here. Oh, I can't. So, level 30... Let's move on. Um, back to London. Exchange. 
sell all of that. Oh, money bag is clinking. Build a DAO in shipbuilding interface. Well, I mean, you're literally... Governor wants a gift. Do I ever get to actually do my own thing? And that's my... One of my issues with a lot of games like this is... I mean, yeah, you can sit there and say, okay, it's just the beginning of the game, and eventually you're going to get to go out, and you're going to get to trade between ports, and the game's going to kind of quit holding your hand. But that's not always the case in some of these games. And a lot of these games, this is like the whole game. It just keeps auto-guiding you to do stuff, and you never really get to do things. Okay, now that we got some wanted posters... So can I buy? Let's unlock to unlock them in sequence. Okay, pay that. Pay that. So let's buy this. And then let us depart. And where was my map? Where was my map? Oh, there we go. Map. Let's go back to Bordeaux. Sail 2. I'm not going to teleport. And hopefully I'll stay under everyone's radar. Are these other players? I want to make it there and then I'm going to click on some of these while I'm doing this to see if you can fight all these people, if they can fight you. This is kind of weird. This name never. This is kind of what the instance thing they showed me earlier looks like, but it's okay. So that's the open sea entrance. So I guess that's they don't actually have a full world in this game. I mean, it is a map, but you're just going from one place to another, and you go through these little instances. So exchange, and we make profit. Unlock this. And buy. And we are going to go to, um, actually let us go to Amsterdam. And here we go. Now I do have some tasks to see if I can find Nightingale Sally. So what happens if I click on this European smuggling ship? Okay, nothing really. Can I fight it? Not really. So can other people fight me? Well, there's an attack option. Oh, uh, they have to be the red, because that's... I'm the... I get it. You can only fight people that are on the thing you didn't pick. I'm W-E, and these are N-E's. I got it. Now, there's Sally the... Nightingale. I'm going to need to increase my power before I take her on. Made it all the way to Amsterdam. Exchange. Okay, and that looks like that's going to be pretty much what you do in the game. You're going around trading, 
so far. Uh, you can pick up bounties, you fight auto battles, and can fight people on whichever place that you didn't pick. Whether you did Western Europe or Northern Europe. Which, you know, I always thought was Eastern and Western, but hey, you know, that's kind of how they wanted to divide it up, so that is cool. So, anyways, um, I won't put this game in my bad games list. I am going to start a list of just games I find on Facebook. I'll probably do that here in a couple of days after I post this. Probably Sunday or Monday I'll start putting all these in a thing. Because this wasn't... I mean, it's a game. The stuff that could be better. You could actually control the combat. That would be nice. And there's some other stuff. But, I mean, when it comes down to it, are there better games out there? Yes. Am I going to keep playing this game? Probably not. But at the end of the day, if you had just discovered this game for the first time and never really played anything like it before, then it would be a decent little romp, I guess. You could have a little bit of fun. Maybe if you had friends that were playing too. I don't really know how much... I didn't see anything about joining a guild or anything like that. Usually I try to push you onto those in this game. But it's got a rudimentary trading system, and I was going and unlocking stuff. Things are, so far, pretty well explained. Um, but there is a lot of stuff where, like, there are instances, and if you want to skip a lot of the auto combat, you have to be a VIP, or you have to go and pay more money, or do lots of trades. So, you know, the game's eventually, I can tell, going to be a big time sink. But, it is on mobile, and if I was at work... Say, I could go and send my goods off to be traded. Kind of like in Hades Star, some games like that, where you, know, you send your stuff off to trade, then when you pick up your phone again, you're at the port, you can go and make your trades, and then go to another place, go back and do some more work. And then when you pick up the phone again, hey, you're in port again. Then you do your instances. So yeah, if you had some way of charging your phone all day, or just playing in periodic spurts, yeah, I guess I could see people playing this. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel where I play games like this that I find on Facebook. Also, I primarily play a lot of roguelike games. I know, ironically, that's why I started the channel, to play a lot of roguelikes and other games. But videos like this seem to do more business, or at least that Pokemon video I posted last week was. But maybe that was people wanting to tell me how incorrect I was and how... Legend Best Monster was one of the greatest games ever. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day.